Hi, it's Gordon, Fat Old Climber. In today's video, I want to talk about two things that will improve your climbing. Uh, not clickbait. Do these two things and no matter what level you're at, your climbing will improve. Let's do this. So I've been in a slump lately, in every way. Not been eating right, not been exercising much, not been climbing very much. Certainly not been posting uh, YouTube videos very much. But I was climbing at the weekend and decided I would try and turn it round. So really I went for a climb and, it, and my target was basically do some work, do some exercise. For on my channel, when you're heavy like me, you can be climbing the easiest grade in the gym and it will be a good workout. So I set out to do just the first and second grades in a local climbing gym uh, called Hang On Climbing. Once I started to get into my climbing session, I thought I could maybe try some harder things. I haven't really been climbing hard at all, but it was nice to get that feeling back. And I was reminded of a video I had seen by Louis Parkinson um, recently. I can't remember if it was his on his channel or Hannah Morris's channel, but I'll link both uh, just in case in the description. And he was talking about two things, one of which I already did um, to, to improve your climbing. So I thought I would, um, once I'd warmed up, I would try some more difficult things and I would stick to these two things. And I just want to talk to you about what these two things are. So you can see me here um, just warming up. I basically decided I would just quickly go through as many grade one, grade twos. I think these are V0, V1s um, in other gyms. And once I was warmed up, try something difficult. I'm just out for a drive, so I thought I would film this down at the car park at the beach. So anyway, I then thought I would try a more difficult climb. Um, and you can see with this one, when I tried to pull on it, I couldn't even start. So I was about to give up and I decided, no, time to work. People go climbing for different reasons and sometimes it's okay just to be playing about. Sometimes it's okay just to play on the fun things. Sometimes it's okay just to have a laugh. But Dave McLeod had an interesting take on this in his book, Nine Out of Ten Climbers Make These Mistakes. And his take on it was, if you want to advance, if you want to improve, then what you really should be doing is spending, I think he said three quarters of a session on things you can't do. And um, <clears throat> I have to say, when I used to climb, and I used to only really focus on the things I could do, the grades I could do, I didn't really advance. But once I really focused some of my time on things I can't do, then my climbing really improved. And what you'll find is that mentality, along with these two things, um, really, really help. Um, no matter what grade you're at, do these two things and you'll improve. So the first of the two things is limit yourself to five attempts. Um, now, when I first learned this, I'm not, I've been doing this for years. I'm not sure where I got it, but I think it was when my daughter was doing the Nybass course when she was learning to, to climb. And basically what they did was when you tried to climb, if you, tr if you went on it and couldn't do it, you tried at least five times. And I've done this for years and it's surprising how often you get the climb on the fifth attempt. But um, one of the things that Louis Parkinson added to this was he limits himself to five attempts. Get on it if you can't do it and you don't like it, try it at least five times. Get on it and you can't do it, but you're really, really keen to do it, limit yourself to five, move on. Rather than waste all your energy on one climb, you'll move on to different things. So you can see I got on it and I thought, I think, okay, I'm going to try it five times. But then the second thing, and the second thing is to ask yourself two questions. If you get on and you fall off or you get on and you can't do it, ask yourself this question, why did I fall off? Or what did I do wrong? And there's a couple of things that aren't acceptable answers. So I'm not strong enough or I just can't do it. They're not acceptable answers. 
What did you do that resulted in you falling off? Or what did you not do that resulted in you falling off? And then the second question is, what can I do differently? You see, when I got on this, I realised that I'm thinking, just because of how, how crimpy it was, I'm struggling to get straight on. I really struggle with getting low and close to the wall. So I think, well, maybe I try flagging. So I try flagging, doesn't work. So what did I do? I tried something that wasn't going to work. So the next thing I try is trying to get a bit lower. And trying to get a bit lower really helped. And I managed to get my fingers to the next hold. So what did I do? I didn't really pull myself in enough to the wall. I didn't, I went, when I went for the move, I needed to pull myself in more. So that's what I did on the, the fifth attempt. And fifth attempt, I got further, but I had five attempts. So I move on. I'm going back there next week, so I'll try again. <laughs> so in this second climb, you can see I was actually just struggling to get on the wall. Um, and I think I tried one foot. I, I tried this one foot and you could see that didn't help at all. Um, I tried the other foot first and again same problem it, the, the difficulty with this was I could not get low enough so I really had to work on getting low but it's an interesting climb because the first move is a right hand which kind of tips you over slightly so I wanted to try to be in a position that facilitated the right hand and once I worked that out just by asking my question, what did I do wrong? What can I do differently? You can see this time I actually managed to touch it. And now I think I've got this. So um, what did I do that time? Again, it was a combination of not really enough effort, but also more pulling myself closer into the wall so that when I do move my hand, I can do it slightly more controlled. Or <clears throat> when I'm moving my hand, I'm not falling away from the wall. And on this fifth attempt, I managed to reach the hold. Start climbing, and then I'm confronted with the, the nemesis, which is the high foot. But because I had five attempts, I moved on. As a bit of contrast, here's a bit of a crimpy climb that I really enjoyed doing. So just to recap, first thing, if you get on it and you fall off, try five times. If you get on it and you like it, limit yourself to five times, move on. And then the second part, if you fall off or you can't manage a move, ask yourself two questions. What did I do wrong and what am I going to do differently the next time? Try those two things the next time you're going for a climb. And remember, this is really only if you're wanting to improve. Plenty of people just climb for the enjoyment and there's nothing wrong with that. So thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any other techniques that, that you find have helped you climb. Um, and if you've not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel.